welcome back to your channel of seek the soul the truth lies within so in this episode of fitness meditation and spirituality we're going to talk about fitness and before you switch off or move away from this channel just think that today you are going to experience the fitness of working from home itself yes right there on your chair the exercises which are required for everybody have a look at this promo before we go ahead so today we're going to share certain exercises and these exercises are stretches for your complete body and the accessory which you are going to use is only a single chair so this exercise is for every age group but it is not for those who have got high blood pressure and those who have got any kind of spinal injuries or they have any kind of knee issues or any other form of injuries so now let's go ahead and experience the 10 to 15 minutes of exercises right here for you for all those who are working from home and have been tired sitting on the chair for a very long time see you there let's start with some warm ups with your neck warm ups so just rotate them move them let's say you have your hands on top of your table just rotate a little bit ease up all your muscles relax them and now let's go on to the next one which is your shoulder shrugs rotate your shoulders because they're stressed while putting your hands over your laptop working let's rotate up hands make a circle make a cross on top of your head ease up your trapezoid muscles let's rotate our wrist expand stretch our fingers shift from left to right so that your shoulder blades also relax a little bit and then let's do the couple movement wonderful for your shoulder blades and now just adjust yourself move a little bit forward on your chair cross your fingers take them at the back cross them and then expand your chest breathe in when you're doing this it's very important very crucial to breathe in deeply now just move like this so that you stretch your muscles and your spine nicely wonderful let's go ahead some more stretches for your frozen arms if you got some problem with your arms now let's rotate our complete spine take the support of the chair or you can take support of your knee also or the chair over here and twist while twisting breathe in deeply breathe in deeply it helps to have a compression onto your spine move a little bit more ahead for your spine now what we're going to do is make some space between your legs bend a little bit yes this is a wonderful spine crusher i would say so you're twisting your spine go down take your arms further down for further stretch of your spine when you go down breathe out that's very crucial most important part is breathing in every exercise don't miss out on your breathing a little bit more of bending and turning and twisting now we were done with that so let's move left to right this is a lateral movement of your spine both the ends let's try to breathe out when coming up breathe in so now we'll do the leg rotations these will actually help you out for your hamstring your glutes hamstring and even your hip joints just relax them so we are going to do some opposite rotations now hold yourself firmly onto the chair now we're going to do single movements so this is wonderful movement for your hips single movements only that's wonderful that's great keep on doing it do at least 4 to 5 repetitions same the other way on the right leg and now we're going to do both of them together let's go ahead move a little bit ahead 
hold the chair very firmly and let's go ahead raise and down 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 focus on your breathing also when you're doing these repetitions that's wonderful so you relax your hip muscles now let's shift let's have a look lateral look from sideways if you want you can move your chair around make some space move a little ahead on your chair and then once you relax just make your hamstrings relax because they get very stagnant and the blood flow stops it's good for your tummy also so you are making your blood flow most important thing is the blood flow in all the areas of your body so now this is wonderful for your glutes for your knees once you take up you breathe out breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in same here breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in wonderful your hip joints for your tummy and now we're going to move a little forward for the shoulders for the triceps and even for the wrist let's do this this is the level 3 exercise little on the tougher side as we move forward you're going to see some more when you go down you breathe out you can go even further forward if you're comfortable doing this go down go up go down go up right breathe out breathe in you can even do this one this is the easier part the third level so here it's very simpler it's like you're sitting on a chair but you're going further down so now you have made your arms also have some blood rushing into it wonderful sit back relaxed hold the chair tight whichever way you're finding it comfortable yes let's do the swinging action wonderful for your abs so when you take it up breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in so wonderful a lot of you actually make a mistake when it comes to exercising is you don't focus on your breathing so whenever there's contraction is breathe out when there's expansion there's breathe in so here since there's contraction when you're going down breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in imagine what all different areas of your body are getting stretched when you're doing this exercise so your knees hips lower back it's all getting stretched wonderfully stretched even your thighs are getting stretched it's beautiful this is a wonderful exercise thighs hips your knees hamstrings everything gets worked out in this wonderful exercise i would suggest to you to have a lighter chair in your house since you are working from home so it's better to have a lighter chair now this is what i call the hero pose which is the chair hero pose wonderful for your back you're stretching your leg your thighs hamstrings at the same time you're taking support now let's go the other way but before that let's do a stretch let's make a namaste and let's move that aside so here too you can make a namaste if you would want to go ahead with you can push yourself back breathe in breathe out make a namaste for extended extensions wonderful and now you can even go down this you can do for the other side too it actually stretches your complete back okay let's get ready for the next one here again we are taking good support and we are doing the criss cross you see when you are sitting your inner thighs also have muscles which get cramped up when you're sitting for a longer period of time it's good for your abs for your hips and your inner thigh muscles as indicated there ready set go for the next one so you're holding your chair tight now you push it up yes this is wonderful for your abs make sure you're not had any lunch or you're not working late at night and after having dinner you're doing these exercises avoid the tummy ones so so what's coming next we are pushing our body up this is wonderful for your trapezoid muscles the shoulder muscles your arm muscles and even your wrist so you can adjust your body if you're not able to move up push yourself up yes taking the whole weight onto your arms now let's do something let's not avoid the legs so for your calf muscles because the blood flow stops if you're sitting for a longer period of time longer hours are not good enough 
So you can do this while even working. So make your muscles tight, your knees also exercised over here. Let's do another one for the knee. Keep it rested on one of your feet and then just keep on moving like this. It's wonderful for your hip joints and for your knees also. A very basic exercise, a very simple one. While working also you can do that. While focusing onto your laptop or your computer, you can just make this movement, a very simple movement. Oh, I love this one. If you can do this, it's beautiful. It's wonderful for your hip joints. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now you're facing the chair. Take support off the chair and let's go for the horse stance. It's beautiful for your glute muscles to straighten up your back. A good support of your chair. Go down, it's good for your knees to have some blood rushing through your lower body. Make sure your back is straight when you're doing that. So when you're going down, you're supposed to breathe by the way. Okay, what comes next? Oh, lovely. This is wonderful for those people who have got spondylitis problem with the neck, with the trapezoid muscles. Yes, yeah, just relax your shoulders wonderfully well. Great. Now let's do this twist. I love this twist. See, it's so simple. So you're holding the other leg of the chair, you're twisting your body completely, your hips, your waist, your neck, everything. Now, let's do a very basic stretch for your hamstrings, for your back muscles. You see that your hamstrings are getting pulled, but you're taking support, you're not completely going down. Your back and your hamstring is getting pulled, you're not completely going down and touching your toes, you're just taking support of the chair over here. You're almost achieving the same kind of effect in this kind of motion. So here even your cervical issues can be taken care of. Blood flow in the cervical is taken care of. Oh, this is another innovative one which I tried out a couple of days back. So here you are getting a nice stretch in your lower back. Maintaining your posture, your thighs are getting stretched of both the legs, knees too. Let's do the other side. The same way with your normal breathing patterns, take support of the chair. Okay, so what's coming next? So you're slouching, you see? When you're sitting down, working on a table, let's make that posture very straight when you're slouching. So if you can come into Padmas, you know, the lotus pose, the half lotus pose, if you're comfortable, do that. Otherwise, you can sit down on the, remove the chair and sit down on the floor too and do this to make it more comfortable. And here comes the butterfly. Now, if you can do that, if you can, if your chair is comfortable enough, if it doesn't have arms on your chair, then you can do this. And I love this because... What happens is you can bring your feet further down as compared to when you're on the ground. See, they can go further down. So it gives you further extensions over here. So normal breathing, and then you relax and fold your legs. Wonderful for your femur, bone, and with your ball and socket joint in your hips. Okay, this is a beautiful extension. Toe touch extensions for your hamstring. Lovely, it makes your psoas muscles. Psoas muscles are the muscles which are connected from your inner spine and also your pelvic. They are internal muscles which get stretched when you do this. So the pelvic muscles are getting stretched and your hamstrings are also getting stretched. If you can touch your knees with your forehead, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's the psoas muscles down there. And your hamstring muscles over here. Great, now what's next? Very simple, let's do something for our arms. Let's have the blood flowing. Okay, so we do the Bhujang Asana or the Cobra Pose. A wonderful pose, taking care of your lower back and your arms and shoulders. And let's do some push-ups. So ladies, you can put your knees on the ground if you want to do these push-ups, if it's not comfortable. Otherwise, if you're wonderfully comfortable with this, go ahead with it, just do five at the max. Or if you can go ahead with 10, that's beautiful. Change your grip. See the way I'm holding the chair? Lovely. So when you go down, you breathe in. When you come up, you breathe out in these kind of motions. Now let's do something for the tummy. A plank position. Let's take it on. So you extend it. You can feel a stretch in your tummy muscles. 
your abs are getting stretched abductor muscles are getting stretched also in your thighs in your hamstrings that's wonderful and now let's do something for a back again breathe in and breathe out and go down extensions back extensions making your spine completely stretched do it once more and there we go beautiful okay so here we're coming with the side toe touches lovely which you can do generally standing but you can just pull your chair a little back from your desk and you can just start doing this focus on breathing out on both the sides when you're touching your toes breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and thank you so much <music> Oh, 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 oh,